Hey Hart students, Mr. Bunnell, Hart's Technology Coordinator. This video is going to be about how to do a Schoology assignment using the Schoology text editor. Um, basically, we're logging it. We're going to log in, look at the assignment, use the text editor. Uh, there's going to be a save draft feature, save draft feature, and then how to submit the assignment. So as always, we're going to log in with the address bar, not a search. It's all whoops, always faster to log in just to go right to the source. You'll be clicking students. I'm clicking employees because that's what I am. And now I'm in. Uh, I've, I've talked in other videos about how to change from recent activity to course dashboard if that's what you want to do. Now, a lot of people will click on upcoming assignments. I can get the assignment this way, but we're going to scroll down to the class and click on the class, which takes us right in. Now the assignment I've set up, I'm actually a student in this class. So you can see what a student sees. So this is what you would see. I'm going to click on the folder where the assignment is, and the first assignment is using the Schoology Editor, oddly enough. And so most important, when you go to an assignment, read the instructions. Read the instructions, say, you know, two or three times. If you still have questions, contact your instructor. That's fine, but read the instructions first. Now. I've read the instructions. I'm looking through. Okay, I need to do this assignment. I need to type something. So I'm going to go over here to submit assignment. That's kind of a weird thing because it doesn't mean you're submitting the assignment. It means you're going to write the assignment. It comes up with loading, loading, loading. Wow, it's taking a while. It comes up with three little tabs here. One says upload. One says create. One says resources. Now notice resources, you can click on apps, and if you actually wrote the assignment in Google Docs, you can click up here on Google Drive and then go directly to a Google Doc and turn it in there. But we're going to use, we're going to go to the create button, and this is just opens up the text editor. So I'll type in um, here's my super. Question. Whoops. Question. Now, this text editor has bold, italic, underline. You can change font, color, all this kind of stuff. But always remember that you want to make something very readable when you do when you write in here. It also has spell check. So if you're unsure about the spelling of words, just use spell check. Now, there are three buttons down at the bottom. One is cancel, which will of course close the window and you lose all your work. One is save draft. That does exactly what it does, and you can come back later and work on, on an assignment. One is submit. Because of the way this Schoology works and because of the way this editor works, before you submit or save the draft, I want you to highlight your work and copy it. Control insert on Windows, Control C on or Command C on Mac. Um, when you do that, there's a chance Sometimes the, this editor will mess up, and if you click Save Draft and nothing happens, then uh, and you've lost your work, you can always go right back in. And now let's say let's say all my work was lost, I can now paste my work back in and submit. So that's the, the so the, now that's the thing is I can click a Save Draft to work later, or I click on Submit. If I click on Submit. Now the assignment is done. There's the assignment right there. I can, if I want to um, add to my submission, or to uh, that's something else. If I want to resubmit my assignment, I can click here. But once the assignment is submitted, the, the instructor can now grade it. Um, and that's it. So the, the, the main point to remember is before submitting your assignment, you uh, copy the text. And oh, by the way, Control A, if you're in the editing window, Control A or, or um, Command A will highlight everything You've got several paragraphs, and and you can copy it. So that's it. This is just a quick way. Th this is how you submit your assignment. Click on materials, go to the assignment, and submit your assignment that way. Thank you.